Weather is critical in mission planning for both safety and tactical advantage. Everything that we do has operational limits with regards to the weather. Every event that we plan, every mission, every evolution that we do, there's a sense of risk that's involved with that. Being able to know what the conditions are going to be when we're planning on doing a mission, that's something that every planner has to take into account. They have to know, are there going to be weather conditions that are going to increase that risk? Or is there a time where it might be better to perform that mission? We have a team of five forecasters and six assistant forecasters. The forecasters are responsible for producing the weather forecasts every 12 hours. And then the uh, assistant forecasters are also known as weather observers. Every hour they go outside and they take weather observations. We bring a full spectrum forecasting capability from the bottom of the ocean to the stars, giving our warfighters the home field advantage to the away game. We help the BADARG 26 Mu perform a mission from the planning phase all the way to execution. So what that looks like is going to the planning meetings, understanding what the warfighters are going to do, what their operational limits are, and ensuring that none of the environmental parameters are going to exceed those limits. We add to the battle space awareness. The better we know what's going to happen in the environment and how the weather is going to affect platforms, sensors, and forces, the better decision they can make as far as do we want to change the time for an evolution? Do we want to maybe use a different asset to achieve that? And also letting them know how the weather is also going to affect potential adversaries. It's no longer that METOC just does safety of navigation and safety of aviation. That's just not going to meet the mark. We have to continue to look at innovative ways to apply science to give our team the best advantage possible.